welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. Um, yeah, when I said I was tired the other day, I was serious. I'd fallen asleep twice in my garage in the car. But that's besides the point. My point is that I can't remember what today's topic was supposed to be about. So when I was awakening from my car slumber, the Lord was like, hey, do this real quick. And I was like, okay, God. So what we're going to do today, we are going to do a little Bible study. We are going to learn how to really ingest the word of God. Because a lot of times when we are doing like our Bible plan apps or reading scripture or reading the Bible, we read it, keep on going about our day, and we really don't know what we just read or we haven't really ingested the word of God. And so this helps us to really get the word of God deep down in us. And it helps us to understand exactly what it is we're reading. It helps you to ask questions. It makes more, you know, things pop up in your mind because you're like, oh, okay, is this what this means? Helps you to have more conversations with others and not just to know what the scripture says. Because especially when it comes to like evangelism, you can quote scripture all day to people, but if you can't actually tell them what that means or just say things in a way to where people just listen to what you're saying, then it's just kind of like you're throwing a Bible at them and they're like, hey, I don't really want that. So yeah, this helps us to just be better stewards over knowing our word, helps us to be better stewards in the kingdom and helps us to really get the word deep, deep down in our souls. And so the method I use is called SOAP, which I learned on the wonderful world of YouTube. And it helps you to break down the scripture and it helps you to really understand what it means because you have to write down what you think the what you think the scripture means point blank period is very 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 simple um helps you to have good quality bible study time with god and it helps you to not just make reading scripture another thing on your checklist to do so yeah let's dive right in let's get this popping and let's go 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 and if you haven't already please click the subscribe button below you can also click that little bell because that will show you when my videos pop up it'll tell you immediately when they are on the web but you guys should know my name when say they're here um if you like this video please like it give me a big old thumbs up and yeah i have to remember to say that on my videos all the time so <laughs> yes i love y'all and let's go so first you get your scripture and then you have your notebook. So the scripture I'm using today, it comes from Romans 8, 1 through 3. And you have your acronym SOAP. So the first is scripture. Sorry, my phone, I'm filming on my phone and it was getting ready to die. So, as I was saying, S, and it's one through two, not one through three. So you write your scripture down first. you write your scripture down the next is O and that is for observation so it's whatever you've learned whatever you um, glean from this whatever this means to you you just write that down and whatever you whatever you have observed from the scripture um, you just write that down so that you get a better understanding that's this is why I like to do this because a lot of times especially when we're doing like the Bible app you just kind of you know, um, what's it called? We just kind of read the scripture and go, but we don't dig deep and dive into actually seeing what it, seeing what it really means. So if you are doing like a Bible app study or something like that, this will help you to dig a little bit deeper into the scripture so that you can um, get a better understanding and writing it down helps you to remember as well. And so, oh, observation. What do I observe from this scripture?
is the A. I'm writing at such awkward angles, guys. Sorry. I'm like, <laughs> have my arm through my tripod. <clears throat> okay, so A is application. So how can I take these two things and apply them to my life on an everyday basis? And it's funny how this goes with this. <laughs> Because, because I am connected to Christ and because I belong to him, I am a new creation. Old things have gone away and a new has come. <laughs> it's funny. They go together. Um, but yeah, so application. How can I apply, apply these to my everyday? but not least the P is of course prayer so you can write your prayers out you can speak your prayers you can do whatever you like for this part um, I like to write my prayers out because I just love Habakkuk 2 2 it's like one of my favorite scriptures um, to write the vision and make it plain so I just like to write everything down and so for the P you can just write your prayer you can thank God you can repent for the things for like for this scripture, you could repent for, you know, holding on to condemnation and to thinking that you were condemned or the condemning yourself. I write about that in my book about condemning ourselves and being a new creation and how, you know, our past does not define us. So you can write your prayers down. You can speak them out loud. You can do both. So that's what I normally do. I write them down. I do both. And yeah. I'm going to write my prayer out and then that is all. It's a simple, quick video and it'll help you dig deeper into the Lord and help you to dig deeper into scripture. And I hope it was helpful. Thanks. I love y'all and have a fantastic Wednesday.